Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to beat the game. Well, beating is too much. Uh, survive the game against an onslaught of new aliens. Uh, I got every alien in the book uh, that makes the game harder. On top of it, double aliens and yellow alert plus better uh, AI. So that makes for a quite difficult challenge. Uh, today we are going on to Operation Outer Whale. Uh, which is a landed UFO. Those missions are typically a bit more difficult than the normal missions and I want to take Wrath with me so that we can at least sneak in and make sure that the timer is being disabled. Other than that you will find kind of a Grenadier, Russ and Enders, the typical three. We do not have enough Rangers at the moment so I figured that's an, as good of an excuse as it uh, will get to uh, dust off Hogbite and give him some more training and hopefully a promotion. Uh, at the end of the day we might also need some Templars, or one Templar rather, against these absolutely overpowered enemies. So having uh, someone with super hardcore stats might be helpful for us in order to tank uh, through uh, that. Uh, Operation Outer Whale, here we go. All right, we just landed and we have the UFO side coordinates locked in, ready to roll. We got some nice little high ground over here, good for our sniper, and we have a large map. I like large maps because positioning becomes more important. The small maps I always feel are quite crowded. You end up with uh, the inevitable truth that you will need to, uh, that you will run into like a larger group of enemies at some point and specifically with mods like yellow alert um, that has if anything just become worse because you're ending up um, triggering the entire group on larger maps on the other hand you need to be more disciplined with your movement this here is a non-timed mission until we engage the first pack, of course. Ooh, lots of sectors. Why does that sector here have a yellow bubble next to it? I hope this is not telling me that he is carrying loot, because if that would be the case, I would be highly, highly disappointed about that mod. I hate mods that are giving you more uh, information than you should have. Maybe I'm a purist, uh, and that's also why I don't play with Gotcha and Gotcha again. But part of uh, the actual skill of learning XCOM is understanding where uh, where things are, and uh, for instance, also understanding how how flanking works. And by using those crutches, you kind of have a false friend almost because the moment that you either do not have that mod anymore or the moment that it doesn't really work out or delivers the wrong uh, info you start doubting uh, yourself so well, that's my little run with uh, gotcha i know a lot of people absolutely love the mod and totally uh, like playing with it uh, and i don't fault uh, anyone for doing so it's a personal taste but what I definitely, I think what we can agree on, if a mod tells you that there is loot, not sure if this actually tells us that that is the case, but it sort of suggests that. And if a mod does that, I am not a big fan of it at all. Okay, so. Do we feel like we can already trigger these guys? Hmm. Good question. I mean, it is, at the end of the day, Placing the weapon. this here is yellow alert, so we might as well embrace it for what it is. So the advantage, quote unquote, of doing this here is we are going to see quite a bit of quite a bit of an explosion. Catch. 
and almost all of them are going to be near death right from the get-go. Down to one hit point. This guy even put himself into a burning situation. Alright, moving up because we can use uh, the bonus of high ground. There is absolutely no reason to not use it. This might trigger another pack. This here likely will not trigger another pack, so I would actually prefer doing this. 11 core and the data cache, which is fantastic. Which kind of brings us... the question of how do we want to deal with this guy here that's almost a secure kill one to three points of damage for burning let's just kill him and by the way we had loot back here so this mod is actually spoiling the beans with the extra loot oh i don't like it i don't like it at all that almost feels like cheating. That's a very cheap way of doing it. I can understand why it is convenient to do that, but how would a uh, how would anyone know that these guys are having loot? So this might uh, kill one of uh, the sec dudes. Yep, there we go. One down. Thousands to go, as they say. Good, we're moving up, and we're moving up decisively. Overwatch, 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 we're good. That pack has not spotted us out yet. Perfect moment in time to eliminate these guys. Nice little critical hit. Fantastic. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Almost dead. All right, I'll go. We're moving up. Get ready for a surprise. And this should remove cover plus injure them severely enough. There we go. That's good. There we go, nice little melee vulnerability. Hogbite is now fully loaded, which is great.
This tree here is semi in the way. Uh, Russ is just going to Overwatch. Ooh, that would be so juicy. They are protecting the device. Okay, gotcha. Nice little overwatch hit. That works well. And there is the parry. Let's say sectored heavy, uh, mm, a sectored heavy mission that we're that we're currently on. We're taking the hundred percent hit uh, thanks to our stock. Yep, even a miss is a kill. Great remote start, but I think my life is in your hands. We need to wait one more turn. All right, Endor's overwatches. Moving to position. Russ moves over. I'm on it. Overwatches. And I think we're just going to go into full cover, just in case they're coming out. Right, none of those are... are currently what I would want to do. Let's get into a position for next turn. And we can start engaging with them next turn. No one gets by me. Watch closely. We can no longer hide. Oh, that's an interesting turn of events. All right, surprise. Hello. I guess that settles at least uh, the the first contact. Russ charges in, and that could be a solid kill. It would be great. Hogbite would have deserved it. Oh yeah. Uh, we do have one more turn, so we could Ready to go. Overwatch. just keep an overwatch for now. I won't let them pass. The reason why I would want to wait one more turn is because if there is a hack bonus, Russ could use it and would potentially benefit more from it. So let's see. All right, delaying the dark events would be great. 
But unfortunately, that's not happening. We're in. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Well, that was a pretty straightforward, flawless mission. Um, a lot of sectors, just a few hit points to go through. Um, packs of of uh, three to four. That was an interesting uh, type of enemy, but I mean, sectors without any backup, specifically if you do have melee uh, combatants, they fall victim to Hogbite. What were they realistically going to do? Hogbite, I would. I could see a world, maybe not yet, but on a higher level where Hogbite could even uh, solo the entirety of uh, of uh, the sectored forces. Fortunately, not a promotion. That is. Hmm. Wow, we got holo targeting plus shredder. Oh, that is great. We're going to go with shrapnel because it is fantastic. Holo targeting is good as well, but shredder is also great. Wrath is starting to get some serious skills here. Endors, Lightning Hands, definitely. And we got a Data Core. Things are looking good, but that is maybe just the calm before the storm. I mean, they came with only Sectoids and nothing else, which I guess is technically possible, but it was not a clever move. Uh, they could have done, they could have done much better. All right, more intel. Oh, before I forgot, we actually got quite a few alloys and supplies. Look at that, and even Alarium. That is great. So we're going to upgrade weapons, magnetic cannons. And we got 60 here and 70 here. We need some more supplies. Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested. And there is still an engineer. Okay, the engineer is next. And then we start making contact again. Currently, we're relying too much on selling stuff. That's the scrotum, which we got earlier. Good. That will be the last upgrade. We got some mind shields as an option, but we need more supplies for that. But mind shields, I would definitely love to build them. Such a strong item, and we have plenty of corpses available. So let's scan for the engineer. Well, the Berserker Queen is in the second facility. Not a big surprise. And we got ourselves another engineer. Great. Great. Very good. In terms of next steps, right? I would suggest they are already starting here. I mean... We could speed this one up, but I would uh, focus on building first and then we can always deploy an engineer. We're a bit short on engineers. We're good on the science department. I like how that is going, but the engineers are not looking that great. Too little intel. This here would be a substantial improvement for intel. Yeah, might as well start with it. 
we need X-ray into And now we even got less income. Plus an ambush. A good old ambush. Alright, I think we're uh, we're only 19 minutes in. We can do that rescue mission. Let's go, boys. Second bonus mission for today. Okay, and we landed. So, we already got the upgraded shotgun, a magnetic rifle, and a non-upgraded sniper. Well, uh, we already know that a few advents are going to come in. There is no point in dancing around the handbag here. Or beating around the bush, as they say. Time to get everybody in a position. And then, if and when they're coming in, we're actually going to uh, kill them. Hopefully. Sona moves up. Very good. Grell. Up cover high ground. That's the Grell I know. And Hayward moves up there. And over pistol overwatch is better than sniper overwatch because you don't take the weapon range penalty. And also snipers get a specific penalty for overwatching. These guys look new. And this here looks like a heavy mech, which I do not appreciate at all. Oh, it's a perch mech, okay. Three armor? Are you kidding me? Who is designing these uh, things? Seriously. All right, shadow step, and we would have that extra. Okay, cool. Well, I can tell you, um, we want to maximize damage, right? Right. So this here is not triggering Overwatch because we have shadow step. This here is taking care of one of our biggest problems. Then now is the time for teamwork. Oh, can't fire a weapon from here. We don't see the mech. Mm -hmm. Question of the day. I think we should shred it first. This here could be micro missiles. I don't know what the perch mech is using. Problem is, we're standing too close. Which will trigger missiles. Full cover, that's far enough. It should not trigger any missiles. Unless a better advent in its infinite wisdom has changed that. All right. 
Right. Problem with the Lost Swarm is we won't be able to just hit hit and kill. So, moving up. Just closing that door for good measure. This is hopefully going to be a kill. Nope. Minimum damage. Alright, we gotta... We got to focus on getting that mech down. Holy smokes. Oh, Chrysalid Swarmer. Ugh. We're fighting against Chrysalids and Loss at the same time. Yeah, go and kill that Chrysalid. I think you're doing us a service here. Moving forward slowly but surely, and this hopefully is going to be a kill. Alright, all of a sudden the losses are not that easy anymore. Time to get rid of the chrysalid and let's thank them for bringing these losses here with them. Alright, moving up. I want to get as close as possible to get to 100%. Fantastic, good. So Swarm should be almost eliminated. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position, Commander. Prepare for more incoming. Uh, we are preparing, believe me. Reload Overwatch and reload. Damn it. That's the last thing we needed now. Little chrysalid rippers. On top of a lost swarm. This is sort of bad news on top of bad news, if you think about it.
unfortunately, we do not have uh, the ability to shoot twice the uh, the quick draw one. That would have really helped us. Lost, lost, lost. Yeah, okay. And I don't mean lightning hands, but at least two quick draws would be helpful. Just to eliminate more of these loss. Okay, I'm glad that we have brought three with us. Uh, these missions are a bit more difficult uh, than I originally anticipated. The perfect timing for reload. So that might trigger another lost swarm, but I don't care. Problem that we're facing is I don't want that chrysalid to do anything remotely dangerous. Let's do this. All right, almost all of them are down. Just one le a lost left. And as long as we're keeping the high ground. This guy should really have no chance. That's affirmative. Let's rock. You want some more? Good, another one down. On. Overwatch from Hayward, Overwatch from Sonar, and we should be okay. Next, let's take this high ground and uh, try to take it from there. there now. Let's move already. Come get some. Overwatch. Pull Overwatch just in case something spawns here and we can run into uh, We can let it run into us. There's another chrysalid. Let's trigger that chrysalid and block the entrance. Chrysalid almost down. Okay. You can't handle me. Let's do this. All right. Instead of um, overwatching, let's make Sonar a more difficult target, and hopefully that um, that spit, which uh, the chrysalid is uh, using, is rather being taken on. One of them. Perfect. Okay, that's what I was hoping. The AI oftentimes takes the easiest options. Good. We're taking firing angles so that we can actually put them down. 
We will have problems with ongoing spawns if they happen, but for now we're fine. Sona moves up. All right. And let's overwatch. We're almost there. Good. Next turn, we're going to see more losts. Overwatch, reload Overwatch and Overwatch. They will be spawning somewhere here and should be running into us. Fantastic. Okay, so that's two bonus kills just for a good overwatch trap. Three, two. Who's keeping score? On reserve. Ninety-three percent is not a hundred percent. You gotta learn that relatively early in XCOM, and even sometimes a hundred percent is not a hundred percent because the values are rounded. Uh, that is also something that you will learn in XCOM. Hopefully not early, but over the period of hundreds and hundreds of beautiful hours with this game. So we're moving in. Moving, moving, and Sniper sort of moves over there. I'm trying to remain with high ground. And there is a massive chrysalid back there. Chrysalid Infector. It really sounds like a t the type of chrysalid that you don't want to fight. If it's called a chrysalid infector. Associations of many, many, many chrysalids are coming to mind. Alright, we're moving up. I'm just taking the high ground. Who cares? Good time for reload. 13 hit points. That guy is a beast. I don't think we should kill the um, lost. Not yet. I believe we're just closing the door and are overwatching. Let's do this. Scanning. Overwatch. Good. Lots and lots of overwatch. Yep, there we go. Inve infected zombies. That's exactly why I was afraid that something along those lines might happen. Stupid infector. You can't handle me. Moving a little bit further back. Got that feeling he will charge in. I'm just trying to be out of range. Okay. 
What? Oh, okay. L luckily for us, we can deal with the swarm next turn. Oh boy. We do not have run and gun yet. So, first things first. Rel needs to save her own rear because we don't um, want her to get hit. She has the healing kit. Five points of damage, not bad. Now the more important uh, part is, is this here going to hit? Shouldn't have even asked that question. Can we block it by just being here? Overwatch. Miss. Mm. Not good. Rel heals herself. Continues to harass that thing. Alright, so... There is an entrance here, but it's much safer to just block that and overwatch. Reload. Ewa moves over, can't really see anyone, reload overwatch and another overwatch. Soon another swarm might show up so we gotta, we gotta start moving. Double move and Grell overwatches. Enemy is still up. Okay, so we got a swarm ahead of us and a few lots that are coming in from the back. Maybe it's just one lost, who knows? All right, so reload and we are going to take out this guy here. Just making sure we're safe up here. Target neutralized. Reloaded. How many is that now? But so overall we are still keeping them down. I 
let's move up and next turn we're just going to move out all right they might yeah jump down here and just stand beneath us which is typically what they will do Good. Time for us to just rush and get out of here. Finally. Good. Some extra kills. And that was not too bad. I mean, it, it was an interesting mission. Definitely more enemies than uh, usual. And with the uh, no headshot mod for loss, you... Uh, cannot rely on the typical tactics of just sitting, uh, setting up kind of a sniper somewhere and then they will maw through the, uh, the loss and then you just continue moving. I will say that the Chrysalid Infector, uh, which uh, I'm pretty sure comes from the Hive mod, that was a nasty, nasty thing. Good, Hayward got a promotion, we're taking a long watch, and that's good. Fantastic, so she got one promotion, and on top of it, we're going to get the XP from the covert action. So that might be just another promotion. Oh, perfect. We're going to get that engineer in a second. Yeah, no further. They got XP, but they got, uh, did not get any further promotion. Instantly collects all of uh, the supplies. That is a good one. Dodge plus 7. Uh, Dodge plus 7 is not bad, and Hogbite is the right person for the job. Let's maybe... Hmm. Sharpshooter... I wonder if we should put Russ in here. There's no chance of an ambush, and we get part 3 on top of it, so I think that's the right play. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Takes a lot of time, though. Since there is a new engineer on the map, might as well do this here. Reduces, just speeds up the, the mission time. And an engineer is worth definitely more than the intel, which we wasted not a lot of time here. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their effort. Well, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar. That is uh, Bradford at his best essentially telling us we have a problem. 
Immunity to explosions is nasty, can still be shredded, but we need other ways. Um, she is improving her training and he's potentially reducing our economics. Yeah. Alloy padding, I think we should try to counter. Let's take the instant collection because that will save us scanning time. 150 supplies, we just have gotten them without needing to scan. And we got bandits here, plus another scientist and 100 intel. It's almost like the game is wanting us to expand now. That scientist will be incredibly helpful. Fifth scientist just getting us all the way there. And on top of it, the 100 intel. We definitely would want to uh, be successful with that mission. In terms of technology, just a few more days and then we get plated armor, which is great. And really don't need to train anyone. New combat tactics, we need captain. The moment that we got one, we finally get six people on a mission. So that should be a... Uh, focus point as well getting that captain but overall it's going good we got all of the weapons upgraded with arm uh, with the armor research done soon and maybe even the ability to upgrade armor that would give us a huge boost some more mine shields uh, then proving grounds is coming online so we're slowly but surely getting there next research would be experimental weapons and then we're starting to just build through all of those Elarium cores that we have, maybe get a spark going just to uh, level a nice little spark in this environment. Uh, I could see that that can become handy. We have suffered less casualties so far than I would have expected and we have actually a relatively deep roster. We're taking a lot of wounds but people are not yet dying, which is great. And we have a few really, really good uh, uh, good soldiers so far so I actually like where this is going um, let's not be too cocky be humble uh, the run might uh, become much much more difficult soon so thank you so much for watching guys if you are uh, looking forward for the plated armor research then I suggest you pack a little bit of uh, protection around that like button uh, so that when you're smashing it later it doesn't get too injured See you in two days and take care. Bye-bye.